Hello everyone, this is Miss Lina Aude and today uh, I'm going to be presenting the weekly video for grade 10. Uh, every single week you're going to go through your weeklies by introducing what will be given every single week. The we as you know, we have five classes per week. So let's start with the uh, unit one inside the nightmare. Of course, since I need to break the ice, I will be starting with ice breakers. Uh, let me familiarize you with the BC. First of all, you're going to see them in uh, terms of blocks. The first one over here, you're going to read lesson objectives, go over the word wall, watch the teacher's weekly video, and then watch the explanatory tutorials, work on the activities provided. You, you will challenge yourself, of course, not necessarily in a block on this page. Then you will take the self-assessment needed. So what are the objectives for this lesson? You will engage in interactive introductions to ensure sharing your names, interests, and backgrounds to create a welcoming atmosphere and build connections. You will acknowledge classroom rules and regulations. You will participate in icebreaker games where you can share unique facts or experiences sparking connections and celebrating individuality within the group. The words that you will be learning is uh, introduction, icebreakers, networking, team building, warm up, open ended questions, communication skills, individuality, cultural awareness. As for this video, which is the first one, tutorial number one, here you learn why icebreakers are important and they show you some activities that you need to work with or on beforehand or in, uh, inside the classroom, you can suggest as well. I have plenty of suggestions, but I am always open for new suggestions. This other video that needs to be watched beforehand, uh, it gives you multiple techniques that will aid you while introducing yourself. Uh, PPT, at your convenience, you can of course uh, view it, it tells you, it's, it's called a story swap interact, uh, interactivity. This one over here, it, uh, it basically um, talks about how you can swap stories with your friend and then be able to retell the story that your friend told and this way you will learn a lot of characteristics uh, that your friend has given in to you. The challenge over here, how do icebreakers activities help create a positive and comfortable learning environment for you? Then if you click on the image over here, you will access a website offering a collection of icebreaker questions, all related to English. Please feel free to practice using them. Now, as for tomorrow, we're going to learn, uh, we're going to take another icebreaker, and then you will be able to learn the curriculum, course outline, and the BC. So let's check this one out. It's pretty much the same except for the other activity that I chose. But of course, again, I'm always welcome uh, to new activities. It's called Emoji Autobiography. This one over here, after we've learned each other's stories, we can learn each other's feelings by using what emoji that can represent you and why. Uh, of course, if you click on this image, it, you will access the PowerPoint and you will have plenty of emojis to, uh, to see. As for the third day, which is the launch text, this one here, we, I'll, be, I'll be introducing the unit itself. Now, no time for jokes. Uh, it's Gothic literature, so I'm going to be starting with the lesson objectives. You will determine the author's central claim in the argument to figure out the purpose. You will organize evidence and reasons that support the claim. You will tailor a debate to support your point. So the uh, collection of key terms are as follows. Gothic literature, Gothic elements, allure fear, explanatory text, vault, revenge, and hint. If you click over here, it's going to take you to the ebook lesson, which is Savaz. Uh, of course, uh, over here, once uh, you're, it's going to be activated once you have access to your ebooks. This video also talks about the history of Gothic literature. It will help you a lot understanding the Gothic literature. Uh, so we're going to start with this discussion and this question. Read the quote below and then discuss to what extent you agree or disagree with it. For some people, Halloween can be like therapy. And why? What is the allure of fear? 
Then the following question is, what is the allure of fear for this, uh, sorry, the second tutorial? It's the literature of fear, and why do people base their literature on fear? Why is it so fun to be scared? Roller coasters and so on. Horror story election, with your partner, you're going to consider the following question. Which character is the best horror story hero? You can refer to the movies as well. You're going to discuss with your partner, collect evidence to support your claim, elect the best one suggested by your classmates. As for further practice, for those of you who are struggling to understand the concept, you will write a summary for the explanatory test, providing the main points. For the challenge question, after reading the launch text, what elements of Gothic literature do you find as the most important? Of course, we're going to review them all. Uh, this assessment, of course, also helps you to understand the elements of Gothic literature. As for tomorrow, uh, you have to watch uh, the PPT that is attached over here that will help you understand the elements of Gothic literature because once you gain, once uh, you, uh, I would say, grab a foot over here, you will be able to jump into the other lesson. As for the fourth day, I will give you the shortest story, House Taken Over. I promise you will enjoy it so very much. So let's start with the objective, discuss the situation depicted in the short story, understanding the main elements, figures of speech, and the style utilized in the selection. Analyze the application of the horror element and the magical realism in the story. The word wall, magical realism, uncanny, eerie, conscious versus unconscious, threshold, unreliable, associations, fragmentations. Over here also, there is an access for ebook lesson once you get the access. This video also shows you um, the theme uh, of the story, how it's taken over, and a very short summary for it as well. Of course, I'd rather you watch after I explain. Then uh, the first activity, it's talk about a time you found yourselves in an uncomfortable or difficult situation. Did you stay or try to resolve the situation or did you walk away? Connect between your experiences and the exposition of the story. As for the second one, we also have to visit the idea of magical realism, which is uh, what the story is based on. Uh, there is another activity which is called read, uh, first read guide. This one you will be noticing the general ideas, then annotate by marking vocabulary and key passages. Connect ideas within the selection, then you will respond by completing the comprehension check once you're done with the story. Here is an author uh, background of the story, author and background of the story uh, by studying the author's background and the background, uh, the historical background over here. You will understand the choice of words that the author had used. Uh, for the challenging question, you will be able to research Argentina during World War II and how did it affect uh, the Argentinians, as our author is Argentine, of course. And here is an attachment uh, for, uh, as an assessment for you. It's going to be a basic uh, literature assessment because you need to understand the story more for you to answer it. For the next lesson, I've already added a PowerPoint for you to understand magical realism. The last day of this week, you will annotate the paragraphs and highlight symbolism, repetition, and ambiguity. You will analyze uh, the how, why the author choice, uh, chooses uh, words, particular point of view, and cultural experiences, and how it affects the course of a story. The words to be chosen, ambiguity, magical realism again, spacious, unvoiced, obscure, recessed, vestibule, muffled. As for the first video, which is basically uh, audio with graphics, it will help you understand if you're more of an audio person, audible. The first activity, you're going to write one page analysis describing the relationship between the narrator and his siblings. You will provide evidence from the story. You will include details about the character's behaviors, likes, dislikes, and mutual interactions. As for the second tutorial, it's a short film. We have more than one adaptation. I chose this one, which I found the best, but of course, you're free to watch any other video. 
for activity two, which is the craft and structure, it will frequent a lot in our um, literature pages because you will be able to cite textual evidence uh, that would support the craft and structure. You will recognize the characters, realistic setting and details, fantastic events, unimpressed tone. As for the fair practice, you will research the origin of the story, discover information about the home, and find whether or not uh, uh, it was uh, inspired by it, the story, of course. You will also uh, uh, be able to analyze, do you really think that the story is ambiguous, give details to support your answer. You can also refer to whether or not it's magical or realistic. Of course, attached is an assessment for you to answer. And then for uh, next week, I'm going to be meeting you. I hope you understand for now. Thank you so much.